Technology in seniors is not something that a lot of people really talk about, but today we're at a place where that's all they do. This is the home lab at IDAP at Toronto Rehab. There's some really cool cutting edge technology that helps older people sort of age in place. That means stay independent in their home along. Today, let's start with my new friend over here. Hello, my name is Ed. I am the helper robot. Now, Ed actually isn't autonomous. We have a robot driver here, one of the scientists who are working on this project. So now I know you're all thinking, you know, Rosie from the Jetsons, but actually Ed is the result of a, a experiment with low cost robotics. He's actually built on a, a Roomba, which is the popular robotic vacuum. And the point is, is that, you know, while robots can be very expensive, they're trying to get him down to about $5,000 or perhaps even cheaper. Uh, they're running some experiments where he's going to be going into a senior's home and helping a bunch of people. And, and what he does is, is he helps sort of elderly people with dementia or Alzheimer's and reminds them to do things. Come with me into the bathroom. Thanks, Dad. Hi, Reggie. Turn on the water. Get some soap. Scrub your hands. Good job, Reggie. So while today we have this very cool robot now who's been helping me out, there's a, the other way this works is having sort of screens and monitors around the house and they're usually hooked up to a camera that sort of wants to make sure you're doing the right thing at the right time. So beyond robotics, they're also doing a lot of work with sensors here. One of the things is a fall detection monitoring system. It's right up there. Basically there's sensors all over the place and if you do take a fall, it'll ask you, are you okay? Do you need help? A large part of the um, consumer market is going to be looking at robots that are going to be able to help them but also be really cheap. And so one of the big focuses here is looking at uh, making robots that are for the consumer market. So that's just a taste of some of the technology for seniors that's being worked on here at the Home Lab at Toronto Rehab. Obviously it's some really cutting edge stuff, but the scientists here are hoping that some of this stuff is going to get out to market in a matter of years as opposed to, say, decades. For the Toronto Star, I'm Roger Mudder. Thanks, Ed. Thank you, Roger.